All right, now first story. President of the Ghana Chamber of Young Entrepreneurs, Sheriff Gali, is asking government to do more to create an enabling environment for graduates to start their own businesses if government is serious about promoting entrepreneurship. This was his response to Finance Minister Ken Ofriata, who at a UPSA graduation ceremony revealed government's payroll is complete. Therefore, the youth must venture into entrepreneurship to boost the economy. Take a listen. So the future for you with regards to jobs, of course, um, is the most um, important thing um, at this stage. Um, we have gone through a period where uh, most people um, look for jobs of government, etc. That payroll is full. I can tell you that because we are spending some 60% of our revenue on remunerating some 650,000 people and that's not sustainable. The question then really is whether UPSA has trained you um, to be entrepreneurs. Uh, and your question will be where would I get the financing from, etc. But you do in you have the skill set to be able to do what you have to do. Um, our responsibility as government is to create the environment of macro stability, currency stability, and ensure that you have access to the relevant skills and financing. Um, so this budget that we are going to be doing is going to really focus uh, on the youth and, and budget. And tomorrow uh, we have a program here um, looking at what um, the youth um, demands and how we can structure the next two, three years of the Ghana Obatampa program to ensure that you become your own bosses and you become entrepreneurs. Um, so it's a new world out there um, where you need to, it's not um, a factory that is employing 10,000 people, uh, but it's individuals like you employing two, three, four, five people um, to create that energy and engine um, for our country to transform. While well, President of the Ghana Chamber of Young Entrepreneurs, as Sharif Ghali, has been responding to that, he says that government must rise up to the task of ensuring graduates have what it takes to venture into entrepreneurship. It is not anything too new to us because we have always known that there are no jobs in Ghana. And what the central government is supposed to do to create the jobs is um, basically what we are not seeing. So it's a big, big uh, disappointment to us, but it's not also new, we know, yeah. Is the environment ripe for entrepreneurship in Ghana from your perspective as a chamber of entrepreneurship? Well, um, economically, we will say yes. Why do I say yes? Because Ghana has one of the promising economy that is very uh, fertile for entrepreneurship because there are so many on top opportunities that um, are lying down there, especially the innovations by young people. So yes, economically is fertile. But what we, our problem as a state is that our central government policies that are directed towards creating that enabling environment for the young person to start to grow and sustain a business is what we are lacking. So if you have an economy that is fatal for business, that is good for business, but then they are not direct policies that can support these young people, then at the end of the day, um, nothing good is going to come out of it because we have a central government and governments upon governments, what basically they do is that they come up with policies for young people, for young entrepreneurs, when the young people are not even consulted. So it's just like a doctor that opens the hospital, and when you walk there, he looks at your face and say you are sick of malaria. For that reason, I will start give, treating malaria. When you haven't even checked or engaged the person. So that is our problem. We have a very striving economy that, yes, there are so many opportunities. Young people, every single day, they are coming out with creative creative ideas, innovative ideas, but the policies, the support framework is not there. I want to take you back to the 2020.